You sent chills on my spine every time I take one look at you. Weightlifting for the voice? Yes, please. Let's get it. This type of weightlifting is based on resistance that you use to create balance. It is not the type of weightlifting mentality that uses brute force to achieve gains. Here are my barbells. One of several ways I use these straws for vocal gains is singing songs through them. If I do it correctly and daily, I undoubtedly gain better control and freedom of my voice. I start with the largest straw. I have three primary goals. Number one, sing through the straw to feel activation at my solar plexus and an expansion in the back of my throat. There are other areas of my body I purposely awaken, but we'll discuss that at another time. Goal number two, sing through the straw without flipping or cracking while eliminating any signs of raspiness. Goal number three, allow the straw to determine the intensity of my dynamics and volume. This goal is informed by the first two goals. I must pay attention to what I'm feeling so that I can make the necessary adjustments with the intensity I'm using. Mm -hmm. If all of those goals are met, I increase the resistance by using the middle sized straw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I accomplish the same goals with the middle straw, then I attempt the bionic, omega level, superhuman, skinny straw. A heads up, don't let pride ruin you. For many people, especially beginners, the resistance of this straw is too heavy to use until your coordination is strengthened and refined. When I use this one, the only intensity and dynamic I explore is very soft. I strive for a clear and connected tone without excess air escaping outside of my lips. This one could use some more work. <laughs> now I sing to see how it feels. But let's see how it feels. Actually, I need a break. Hold on. <laughs> My every thought is you. The things you do seem so satisfying to me. I must confess it, girl. I like it. You send chills on my spine every time I take one look at you. Oh, oh, I like it. Essential points. I prefer to have my lips firmly sealed around the straw to avoid excess air escaping. It ensures that I'm getting the maximum amount of resistance to awaken my support and allow my vocal folds to vibrate efficiently. If you're not getting any sound or there's excessive distortion, you may need to use a wider straw. If you feel the urge to push your voice through the straw, deny it. Instead, embrace the resistance and allow the pressure to move back into your throat and into your body. Overall, it should feel like the back of your throat is stretching or opening up and your solar plexus is protruding as you sing through the straw. While I am singing through the straw, I feel like the words form a river and they are running together with very little disruption. Don't over articulate. Using one vowel sound like ooh may be easier to execute. Now to be clear, when I do it, I'm singing all the vowels in the song with very light touches of consonants. 
That's just me, though. Anyways, on certain parts of the song, if the volume needs to decrease to have a smoother transition through the phrases, allow that. The dynamics through the straw will not be the exact same as singing without it. That is expected. Often, singers are distracted when their voice feels smaller and lighter while singing through the straw. I hear, oh, this feels like head voice. This needs to be beefier. It doesn't feel strong. That is expected. It's part of the magic. Let the straw do its work.